Yo, what's up guys, Tim here. Welcome back to another Decan Boutique video. Today, we're gonna to talk about Aqua Di Gio fragrances. I mean, the Aqua Di Gio that's still available in stores as of right now. So, Ascensa, not gonna be in here. Perfumo uh, Special Blend, it's not gonna be in here. Aqua Di Gio Blue Edition, sadly not gonna be in here because those are all gone now and they're pretty pricey if you look on eBay. And those three, I wouldn't suggest you pay anything above retail price for those ones anyway, because, you know, let's face it, they're not that fantastic, all right? I mean, they're great, but they're not like $200 great. So please don't spend that kind of money on any of those fragrances. So moving on, I'm gonna be telling you guys about the five Acrigios that are on the uh, website right now, on the official Armani website. Um, just tell you guys my thoughts on them, when I might wear them, I do I recommend them now for 2020, and um, yeah, just anything in general about them. First one we're going to talk about here is the original Aqua Di Gio. Now this one, I used to own a smaller bottle of it back when I just got started into fragrance, and I remember smelling it for the first time, and I was just blown away. I was like, wow, wow, I see why. This is the number one fragrance on the planet. <laughs> because at the time, all you hear about when it comes to Aqua Di Joe is that it's the number one best-selling fragrance. I read a lot of blogs about it. Every time I search up like top 10 fragrances and a blog post comes up, number one has always been Aqua Di Joe. And um, at the time, I was like, man, I gotta get my nose on this. It's so exciting. And when I got my nose on it, I was like, oh my god, it really is that fantastic. And the DNA, ah, oh, man, I. I you know instantly why it became a bestseller. And um, I still really like it till today. I gave that bottle away to my grandma. She really likes it, so I, you know, I just gave it away and I bought myself a new one, a bigger one, right here. So does this DNA um, stand the test of time till the year 2020? This is actually a 2020 bottle of Aqua Di Gio bought straight from the Armani website. And I can tell you guys this, that it lost a little bit of that magic. It feels not as strong as it was before. Maybe it got reformulated over the years, a little bit weaker now. So it doesn't have the same kind of punch, the same kind of magical feeling as when I first smelled it. Maybe that's also because I smell a lot of fragrances over the years, but I feel like it got weaker over the years for sure. So right now in 2020, would I recommend you buy Aqua Di Gio? I would say, no, I wouldn't recommend you buy Aqua Di Gio in 2020. It's just not the same Aqua Di Gio as before. Plus, there are better Aqua Di Gio fragrances now, Aqua Di Gio variations that fits much better for 2020, last longer as well, because Aqua Di Gio original really doesn't last that long. Four to five hours is maximum. Most of the time, four hours, you're gonna have to reapply a lot. So don't recommend this right now in this year. But does it still smell good? It absolutely still smells good. Now, Aqua Joe fragrances, you're not gonna find any of them for cheap. Like they're discounted, but very slightly discounted. You're gonna have to look for deals on the Amani website every now and then. I got a deal that I bought this 100 ml and it comes with a free 100 ml of another Aqua Gio fragrance that I'm going to talk about later. So deals like that happens every now and then. If you can grab one of those deals, that's the best bet for any Aqua Di Gio fragrances. All right. So next one right here, let's talk about the one that came right after it. And this is one that a lot of people will say is the best Aqua Di Gio right now. And this one is Aqua Di Gio Profumo. This one improves a lot upon the DNA of the original. One thing that it did really well is that it boosts up the longevity about a couple hours, two, three hours, which makes it much better for just any type of occasion. I mean, the first one lasting four hours really hinders the amount of time you can actually use it. But this one now lasting around six to eight hours max, you can wear it in more situations. The other thing it did was it beefed up the base. Instead of just being a fresh aquatic scent, it has darker nuances, some deepness, some instance, some patchouli. So it gives the fragrance more of a modern kind of touch to it, which I really, really like. In terms of this one compared to the original, I would say I like this one more than the original at the moment because of all the reasons I just stated. This one in 2020 is definitely still a relevant fragrance. It's not really like an old fragrance yet. I think this was released 
back in 2015, I believe. I could be remembering that one a little bit wrong, but it is still a fantastic fragrance. Fantastic, fantastic fragrance. If you're looking for something that's super versatile, has a lot of mass appeal, uh, a great improvement over the original DNA. If you own the original right now, you want to upgrade. I would say this one is a really, really good choice, even now in 2020. So yeah, Aqua de Joe Profumo, extremely amazing one right here. Next one, we're just gonna go in order of release here. This one is Aqua de Joe Absolute. Yeah, this one was released sometime, I would say in 2018. Yeah, 2018, I was released. And it was a little bit on the, uh, Mm, side like really this is Aqua Di Joe's attempt of making a fall fragrance it took the Aqua Di Joe DNA the original DNA and they add a lot of sweetness to it and when you add a lot of sweetness it trying to be a little bit too playful Aqua Di Joe as a line is more more gentlemanly more reserved still fun but in a really like professional reserve way in a way so to add sweetness to introduce a juvenile ish aspect to the scent really didn't work <laughs> all too well for this one in my personal opinion anyway Aquajo Absolute it's okay it's nice but it's not something I look for right in an Aqua Joe fragrance if I'm gonna wear something sweet I'll go with something sweet if I want to wear something fresh I'll go with something fresh I'm not gonna typically go for something that's like super in between like this one like it doesn't really do fresh all too well or sweet all too well either it's not like an Invictus that line does fresh and sweet extremely well together this one feels like it's pulling in two different direction and it just doesn't really work together so this is a favorite of some people but majority of people would agree that it's um, not one of the best Aquarius releases but still it is mass appealing. If you're a teenager, I would say you still get confidence with this, but I do prefer the Profumo over this one. Next one in terms of uh, the releases is the Absolute Instinct. I think this one was 2009, just one year after Absolute. And this one is Aqua Di Joe or Amani's attempt at a fall winter fragrance. This one is richer, heavier, then the absolute it has a lot more sweetness a lot more warmth and for me this is bad <laughs> for me this is bad aqua di joe is an aquatic fragrance and it competes amongst the top aquatic fragrance on the planet when you jump into fall winter category when you jump into sweet category there's a whole bunch of other sweet fragrance that i would recommend over Aqua Di Joe, uh, Absolute Instinct. It's just, it's in the wrong territory. This one, it smells okay. You might get some confidence out of it, but it's not something that's wowing. It's not something that I would recommend over any other sweet fragrance, especially for the price that it's going for. This one, 100 something dollars. And uh, this is actually the one that I got for uh, free when I bought the original Aqua Di Joe. It was a deal that's going on on the Amani website, but it is not at all a really good fragrance. I mean, I mean, Armani made it <laughs> uh, buy one get one free just for this thing because I don't think it's selling well. I really don't think it's selling well. So yeah, Absolute Instinct is a big pass for me. Uh, I recommend you guys pass it as well. Last one here. I only have a tiny bottle of it. I really, I'm gonna sell this bottle actually and buy myself a bigger one so it's more uniform looking. This one is Aqua Di Joe Profondo. Yeah, the tiny Profondo. This is, a, I would say, the straightest improvement over the original DNA. I mean, let's grab Profondo, Profumo too. This one, the original, the Profumo makes it darker, more modern, right? More nighttime, longer lasting. Profondo takes a more direct approach in terms of improvement. I mean, that from Aqua Di Joe's freshness, is more modernized in this one. It doesn't have a lot of darker nuances like the, Perfo like, like the Profumo, excuse me, but it has a really, really modern type of freshness. If you like the freshness in Aqua Di Joe and you want it to retain the most of the vibe as much as possible while still becoming a modern fragrance, you would go with the Profondo 
over the profumo. The profumo is kind of like a reimagination or a reimagining, I would say, of the original DNA, while the profundo is the improvement, straight improvement of the original DNA. And the smell, fantastic. I've gotten a lot of compliments for this one already. Whatever the profumo can do, profundo can do. It's just daytime or nighttime, whatever you want to do with that. And yeah, that's it guys for the Aqua Joe fragrances. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you want to try any of these Aqua Joe fragrances yourself, I'll leave a link down below to decampfg.com. You guys can check it out from there. We have decants of pretty much everything and samples of niche and indie and all, a lot of brands that you may not have heard of even. So yeah, check it out down below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.